Welcome to Medican Uber Wellness Studio. I'm Dr. Angelica Maria Koch with the educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach to your well-being. We're slowly moving towards the end of the winter time, certainly in the Northern Hemisphere. And here in New Mexico, where I live, we had a strong winter, lots of snow, cold temperatures. Next week, we are embracing the Virgo full moon, which arouses the time of going within and reflecting upon what doesn't serve us anymore in our lives and what we need to let go of. It is a perfect time to take care of your health and well-being, especially cleansing your body. So I dedicate this video to you and your time of cleansing. Before we go on, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share and like it with your friends and family and have a look at my website medicanova.net at the online academy where you will find inspiring home study online courses in first aid homeopathy and quantum healing and so much more. If you're interested in a personal health consultation, either for yourself or your children, contact me at health at medicanova.net. So the upcoming spring with its fresh and renewed energy is the best season and time to take care of your liver and gallbladder with a mild liver and gallbladder flush, a detoxification protocol. First, a little information about your liver. It's a major detoxification organ within your body and the liver is the largest gland in the body and one of the most important ones for your overall health. It is situated on the right side of the body, sort of upper abdomen under your diaphragm, but don't forget it reaches all the way to the left side too. Here we call it the left liver lobe, often has to do with environmental toxins and food allergies. Forget about the left liver lobe often. It is capable of complete self-renewal at a faster rate than the rest of the body. And that's the magic of, it, of the liver. It can restore itself. Given the ability to restore itself by good foods, rest and natural treatments, it means life force life, living. The liver makes and releases into the body an amazing amount of useful substances and sustains us in a myriad of vital ways. The raw materials of these chemical processes, often 50,000 of that in a day, it's mind-boggling what the liver can do for us, it comes from our food. And this is the key to keeping it healthy. It absorbs food via the intestines and then releases it to the body at a necessary rate. We also have the gallbladder. It's a small bag attached to the underside of the liver and it is here that the bile is stored until it is required. Now fluctuation in energy levels can be attributed to the liver and gallbladder imbalance. Now, for example, if you constantly feel sluggish, tired, um, you know, have a lethargy, no zest for life. You can't lose weight, you're excessively thin. That all can be attributed to an imbalanced liver and gallbladder. This is because the secondary function involves the metabolism of proteins, fats and carbohydrates, thus providing the correct levels of energy and nutrients. Now a burned liver or gallbladder is very much related to emotions as well. And here we have anger, frustration, irritability, you know, flaring up like a volcano, you know, very, just can't find peace within. You maybe heard about the disposition of being a choleric. That's very much related to liver affinity. The gallbladder is related to bitterness and resentment. So if you're constantly harboring about, you know, a feeling that someone caused you, you know, maybe in the past and you can't let go of, you maybe weaken your gallbladder at the same time. So what can you do? I'm going to share with you in this video an accessible and affordable, almost kitchen pharmacy recipe, which really is effective in cleansing your liver and gallbladder. You can do it for two weeks or even longer if you like it. The longer the better. 
And the idea is that on awakening you consume a drink. And uh, the first three days of this detox cleanse, I want you to avoid alcohol, coffee and tea altogether because it sets the stage you know, for the liver to release the toxins already. And of course, throughout the cleanse, avoid alcohol or any toxins too. Um, the, as I said, the idea is to drink it on awakening before you have breakfast. So what you need is about one to two, you know, freshly squeezed organic lemons, about eight ounces of 200 milliliters of spring water. I like organic apple juice, it gives it a nice little taste. One clove of fresh garlic, one tablespoon of extra uh, cold pressed virgin olive oil, and a quarter inch or one centimeters of fresh grated ginger. And you throw this whole thing in a blender, and then it comes out in this milky fluid. Maybe sieve out the ginger and the bits of the garlic if you don't want that. And then consume it and drink it nice and slow. And while you do that, really imagine that all these accumulated toxins, you know, throughout the winter and your current life situation literally leaving your body. Make your liver smile. Remember the film Eat, Pray and Love with Julia Roberts? She went to Indonesia and uh, visited a fortune teller called Kitut, who was telling her, smile with your liver. It's a really great recipe. So about 50 minutes after you have consumed the drink, you maybe want to follow it up with a dandelion coffee with cinnamon sticks, so cardamom seeds and grated ginger. If you don't want that, maybe a licorice tea. And I've personally used the uh, finest detox liver tea from American Botanical Pharmacy. It's called uh, herbdoc.com. You maybe have a look at this. They have a really fine one. You can also add a drop of full of herbal tinctures to the tea and I would say milk thistle, dandelion, Oregon grape are the best here. Now if you want to do a really full liver and gallbladder cleanse plus a sort of liver rebuilding protocol, contact me at health at I have a great protocol at my practice Medicanova. Now, once the liver is clean and functional again, you will feel truly renewed energy level, sense of clarity, even a mental focus, as well as a clear reduction of accumulated anger and rage. In general, the liver will soak up feelings of anger, rage, frustration, and also it will affect your eyesight. There's a direct link between the liver and your vision. If you want to have a clear vision, not just with your eyes, but also in life, cleanse your liver. So let's have a quick look at the emotion of anger, a frequency which is currently, I think, truly activated right now on the planet. Anger can alert us to the fact that we are going beyond our limits. It can erupt when we feel something is wrong or our personal boundaries are being infringed upon. But sometimes anger is a sign of our sort of preciousness. And when we feel that someone has personally insulted or humiliated us or just done us wrong. And, and also in this instance, I feel it is a result of egotism sometimes. All too often we give credence to personal sense of insult, which is often about offended pride often or even vanity. So feeling insulted or easily offended is a result of an excessive concern with the self and how other people perceive us. Violent anger therefore is a symptom of pent up rage underneath and erupting of often in destructive ways. But most people attribute anger today to excessive stress in their lives. And stress is a very broad concept that covers a multitude of causes and is simply a label to describe an overstimulation of the nervous system rather than the complexities of individuals coping strategies. So stress, you know, we say, oh my God, I am overwhelmed. I can't deal with that. But have a look at the story behind it, you know, what's the flavor of your stress? 
If it's anger and frustration, you know, you really need to take care of your liver now. With this protocol, what I just shared with you, I always add my favorite homeopathic remedies to it, and that speeds up the recovery. Again, I only share with you what you can get hold of in your local health food store. It's easy, nothing too complicated, and you can do that too. The first remedy is called Nux Vomica. And in homeopathy, we're not just dealing with the physical symptom, we also want to understand the personality, we want to deal with the totality of the person. Now, Nux Vomica is for type A people, workaholics, who get easily angry, irritable, impatient, fiery temperament, fault finding, you know, they feel easily offended, they're hypersensitive to noise, to touch, even to light or to smells. Of course, they want by the end of the day, they're scotch and they chill out with gourmet food. But they're the go-getters, right? Heart-driven, goal-orientated, does a good deal of mental work and are extremely efficient. Often found in prolonged office work situations, overstudy, in close application to business with all its cares and anxieties. It is preeminently the remedy for many of the conditions incidents to modern life, right? Such as stress, overwork, too much food, too much excess, too much alcohol, too much of everything. And then makes you is sort of impatient and angry. Naxomica 6, go and get it in your health food store if you feel like your personality matches that description. The number six is means the potency, and all the health foods, you know, in the health food store you usually only get six or thirty. These are the potencies uh, which are um, allowed to be sold over the counter. The next remedy is called lycopodium. And here the remedy is useful to ailments gradually developing with failures of the digestive system, yeah, especially where the liver is involved and the liver is seriously affected by now. Right? We have maybe cirrhosis or fatty liver. Like a podium, personalities display a lack of self-confidence, particularly from anticipation, you know, anxiety of anticipation before an event, exams, ordeal, job interview. Constant fear of breaking down under stress with an expression of being apprehensive. They're very sensitive and fearsome, but they also have this demeanor of bravado on the outside. You know, I know it all. Awakes hungry, cranky, hateful, maybe domineering even, and can't endure opposition or any criticism or contradiction uh, are really some of the characteristics here. They're very liverish. And ailments like liver symptoms can be caused, of course, here by fright or anger. The third remedy is called chamomilla. And I know it's more indicated with children who are peevish, irritable, and sensitive. Um, you know, we often use it during labor, you know, when the woman feels like she can't stand the pain anymore. But in adults, if you feel like you have a personality where there is sensitivity to anger, rudeness, even they're snappish, they're impatient, and they're whatever they have, maybe a headache even, they just say, get me out of this pain, you know, I want the Tylenol right now and then. If you feel this fairy temperament, chamomilla gives instant relief. If you feel like you're more of an axomica person or like a podium person, you also can take both remedies. You know, you maybe start the like a podium in the morning and the axomica in the evening. I'll give you the dosage plan in a minute. If you have strong gallbladder issues, I mean, we have gallbladder stones or congestion or even jaundice. You maybe want to add the tincture, it's called celandine. You know, it's a herbal tincture in homeopathy. We call it gelidonium to it. And here I want you to get the herbal tincture. 
It's a prominent liver remedy covering many of the direct reflex symptoms of disease conditions of that organ and as I said majorly involved with jaundice in newborns. But if you experience constant pain under the inferior angle of the right scapula, so in the back, under your right shoulder, uh, you maybe have some gallbladder issues. Um, the general lethargy and indisposition to make any effort is also marked here. Ailments brought on or renewed by change of weather, it acts upon the liver, the portal system, again the right side of the abdomen and the uh, right lower lung. It's very closely related to the remedy lycopodium. I mean, if lycopodium doesn't work, I would choose celandine herbal tincture. Pain shoot backwards or in all directions, particularly in the back. And here the person constantly feels tired, you know, little exertion and they feel just, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Great debility and sort of uh, lethargy. Now with these remedies, I would say when you do your liver cleanse, and you want to add Naxvamica 6 if you feel like you're the type iron workaholic person, three times a day, right? Naxvamica 6, one tablet, three times a day, and do it for your two weeks. That will help tremendously. It will help your digestive system as well. If you're more a person, liverish person, who has a lot of fears, anxiety of anticipation, but doesn't want to show it on the, you know, on the outside, uh, sensitive to criticism, maybe you want to use like a podium, you know, three times a day, the potency is six, again for two weeks. If you have already gallbladder issues, I would add that maybe morning and evening a dropper full of celandine uh, herbal tincture to it as well. If you need, of course, guidelines, or if you're not quite sure which remedy you would choose or would suit you, contact me at health at medicanova.net. I'm happy to help you here. So try this now and you will see how light, sweet and relieved you can feel. You know, usually if you do a cleanse the first three days, you maybe feel a little bit more angry because all this stuff, all these toxins are coming up. But soon, oh my God, you feel just so clean. We are all facing right now. Major breakthroughs in our lives. Um, feelings like fear, anxiety, impatience and anger are very normal feelings here. But don't let them fester inside you. You know, don't let them eat you away, your soul. And take responsibility for your health. I know you can do it. And I know your liver can smile again. So till next time, much love, take care.